All right, guys, um, my name's Greg Georgia. I'll talk a little bit about my career path um, and, and how I ended up where I did in a moment. But I just wanted to, I was thinking, how, what am I going to talk about? Because as I said, I was given five minutes. So I thought, what are four things that I really struggled to grasp, grasp with in my first few years of teaching? And the first one was organisation. I had no idea how to organise my resources when I first started teaching. So I wanted to share with you something that seems to have worked reasonably well for me um, over the last couple of years. So basically, what I did was this. In here, I've got all my mathematics documents, and here I have the old course, the old mathematics syllabus, which ends this year. Within that, I have my stage four and stage five folders set up, plus a range of texts, etc. Within that, I have all my syllabus areas, like number, and then again, within there, I have topics like fractions. <laughs> and every lesson, the way I teach, within each of those, I have every possible worksheet I could want, use, and they're all there. So that way, when I'm sitting there, because every class is different, and I don't teach the same way every single year. I can't because I have different group of groups of kids. So everything is in there. And I just go through it when I go to start teaching a topic and I start choosing the resources that I want and the resources I like to use. And again, try and find a way that works for you. Keep it electronic would be my recommendation, but just organise it the way you teach it. Number it and try and be really logical with the way it works as well. That way you can find your stuff later on. So that was the first thing I struggled with and spent most of my first year grasping with was how to organise everything. The second thing, get involved. Um, I can't sort of recommend enough for you guys as first year out teachers or as teachers who are new to the system to actually get involved with different initiatives within your school. So basically one of the things I did within my first year of teaching was we had literacy and numeracy week and we wanted to have a massive push for it. So as I was a younger teacher and someone who sort of really wanted to, to get involved and was very excited with it, we started off doing logic puzzles within morning roll call or morning pastoral care or whatever you want to call it. And basically Every day, there'd be a different puzzle in there, um, in the morning messages, and the kids would go through and actually go ahead and answer it. There'd be a box in the sort of outside the staff room where they'd come and they'd drop off their answers. So try and get involved with your school. You guys have got so many fresh ideas that Matt's coordinators want to hear about, okay? We want to know about them. Please don't sit there and just keep them to yourself. Tell your coordinator, I'd really like to run this initiative during this week, and this is what I want to give a shot, and do it. Don't just sit there and say, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Matt's coordinators want to hear about it, but sometimes they might not have that sort of, that vision to sort of bring the fresh ideas that you have. So please bring to your school the fresh ideas that you have. We want to hear about them, we want to have a look at how we can better our departments with you guys. Um, third one, okay, plan and share your gun lessons. You guys really do have some outstanding ideas and some outstanding lessons that we want to hear about. One of the ones that, um, I've used and I want to share with you guys was one just around the FIFA World Cup and it's basically the idea was I was getting really annoyed having to watch the soccer games um, at all hours of the night. So I came, came into the kids, is there a better way of organising the schedule? And the kids basically have to develop a schedule for two groups associated with a certain number of rules, okay, so I've put the rules that these rules were from FIFA, but so that it was an appropriate time that the players were playing in the country they were playing and for the viewing audiences. And this is an activity I use with international time and time zones, which again extends the kids. I've used it with more capable kids or when the World Cup's on, just to sort of engage kids. So again, share your gun lessons with everyone, okay? Yes, they're yours. You'll get credit for them, but share them. You're gonna better the profession. And the fourth thing, don't jump the gun, be career-wise. I think there are many outstanding mathematics teachers, especially graduates from here that, that I've seen come through. Um, a lot of the time people are going to say, I think you'd be perfect this position, go apply for a coordinator's position now. And you'll have people tapping you on the shoulder as you get through. Um, sometimes it's a good step, but other times it's what they want for you, but not necessarily what you want. Think about what it is that you want to achieve. Think about it, what schools it is that you want to work in. Think about the clientele that you want to work with and apply for positions then. Don't just sit there and jump guns because people are telling you you're ready. Make sure you're ready to take on the overall responsibility of mathematics and in most cases numeracy of the school that you're going to be involved in if you're going to look at, um, you know, coordinating. So that would be another piece of advice. Fantastic. Thanks.